Patrice Bergeron. Has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Now just imagine if this Stanley Cup champ was called Patrice Cleary instead. According to Bergeron, or should I say Cleary, he says yes. Well, sort of. It's officially Patrice Bergeron Cleary. As he made his way through youth hockey in his own province of Quebec, as he has explained many times over the years, his name typically was trunciated for simplicity's sake. When in French Canada, do as French Canadians do, and therefore Bergeron was the name that stuck on the back of his hockey sweaters and youth hockey registration forms instead of Cleary. But Bergeron was sure to stay true to his roots when it came time to engrave his name on Lord Stanley's Cup. On the Stanley Cup, Bergeron is listed by his birth name, Patrice Bergeron Cleary. Bergeron has accomplished a lot in his career with Boston to distinguish himself from the rest. He's one of 27 players and coaches that are part of the Triple Gold Club, but also, more importantly, he is one of 11 players in all NHL history that have been able to score more than one goal in a Game 7 Stanley Cup Final game. Now you may know that Bergeron married his girlfriend after they dated for more than a decade, but what you may not know is, Patrice is not the only one in the relationship that happens to be famous. His wife Stephanie is actually an actress that is best known for her role in Selfless, but stepped out of the limelight once her first child Zach was born, at least as far as acting is concerned. It's a pretty common practice to get a tattoo you may regret or doesn't have much meaning. But Bergeron, on the contrary, put a lot of thought into getting his tattoo and also seven hours of his life, at least according to a diary that Bergeron kept for ESPN for part of 2013. There's something else that happened over the summer. I got my first tattoo. I spent seven hours in the chair getting it. It was long, but it wasn't too bad. The tattoo is a protector, like a guardian that looks after me. It says, Master of your destiny in French. You can translate it as, Control your own destiny, or Master of your fate. It means to me that you have to believe in yourself. You're the only one who can dictate your future. If you believe in something, and if you have dreams, or something that you're aiming for, you go out there and work hard to achieve it, and to get it. That's how it speaks to me. I've been thinking about getting it for a while now. I wanted to have something that looks out for me, and is on me, and a part of me. Bergeron, the kid, was involved in more than just one extracurricular growing up, and once had his parents wondering whether music, not hockey, could be his future. Hockey's his passion. It has always been his passion. Bergeron's mother recalled. He was, I think, 10 years old when he was taking piano lessons. The instructor told us that he was talented. Then one day he came home and said he wasn't going back. The issue recalled Sylvie Bergeron Cleary was that the music instructor suggested to Patrice that he should give up on hockey and play piano. It was a brief conversation. But I'm sure looking back, Patrice is definitely glad he followed his true passion.